Good job. Error right out of the gate. Yeah, man. <laughs> Top water to the toes. Oh! We're going to be doing some striper fishing today. The goal is to uh, try to catch some stripers and make some delicious nuggets out of them. LFD's first time in the new Silver Bullet, guys. Smash the like button for that. What do you think? It's awesome, man. It's it's like a race car. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy it too. Let's get after some strapper fish. You on? There you go. Hey. Right on the bottom. What do you got? You gonna be a keeper? No. <laughs> <laughs> the old drumoid, yeah. First catch of the day goes to LFD with the drum. Yes. And it is a beautiful drum. Back in the deep. That's a glowing statement from a drum catch. You evidently have a spot down here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I had a spot down here. Now, if you look at this water, guys, it's red. It is red water. We're not gonna catch anything over here, Dad. <laughs> Whatever we throw in this water, fish aren't gonna see. Yeah. So, we're going back into the, the waves. Sorry, Dad. You, you U.S. Coast Guard a qualified fruit. flotation device. Well, here. Still, still has the instructions on it think, think safe. safe that's right think safe you remember when we were in canada and we saw uh, big ted hit that log in front of us yeah that can happen oh my gosh that can happen and it don't matter how big you are when you hit a log you're going out so i'm gonna be honest with you I did, on that big run i didn't wear my life jacket because i've ran this lake so many times and now that i'm seeing how much water it's had there ain't no excuse guys you guys saw my son fall out of the boat the other day. Just literally saved him. So uh, I, I got a brand new life jacket, okay? Not a sponsor, but I got one of these Mustang Survival. This thing fits really good. I actually got a life jacket that fits me well. Uh, I, I became more serious about it when my son fell in. I was like, I need to, I thought about that. I was like, what if it wasn't strapped on well? You know, he had the strap between the middle of his legs, which I'm not doing that. We can't do that when you're grown now. No, that could hurt the boys. <laughs> that could hurt the boys. But this right here, I'm going to strap it on, and uh, I suggest you guys wear them too. I've just been, you know, through social media, you hear about so many more boating accidents. They, they do occur and uh, happen to really experienced anglers too. So no excuse. Put it on. We're putting it on. We're going to go catch some fish. <laughs> in front of the boat. There they are guys. Look at look at the stripers. Right under the boat. Oh got one. A little stripey on. Oh it's a white bass actually. No, oh, no it's a striper. Technically, that is an eatable fish. Let's see if we can get one a smidge bigger. Ah, come on. Oh, there we go. Popping. Popping on top. There we go. Ooh, 
It was a big ball of fish. I'm just gonna see if I can catch one of these. Big school. I mean, I ought to be getting smacked right now. No, I ought to. There's one. Got him. There we go. There's a big striper. Here we go. There's an eater. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Get down there, Dad. There's a bunch more. Come on, baby. Good. Come here, eater. There you are. There you are, baby. We're gonna well them up. They're leaving, hurry up, hurry up. There's one. Come around back, Dad. There he is. Oh, smally. There we go. We're on. Stripers. Stripers! That is a uh, technically a keeper. Okay. This one has had a little jaw uh, surgery, so we're going to keep him. You on? Yeah. On the micro rod. On the micro rod. That's a fun little ride. Looks like a white bass. It's a good white bass. It's a huge white bass. We'll take him. LFD bringing the meat. Yes. That a boy, Dad. Yes. Finally clocked in. <sighs> Clock in and go to work. All righty, boys. We are going home with some fish being the biggest one that one actually might be an over most of these were small which i'm thinking are going to be perfect for cakes this is this is the reality of aging population being an elder man got to get those knees in the right spot there we go stripers stripers going in time it is y'all so fun day on the water with dad today first time going out in the in the new silver bullet and harvesting so that was about the average size and you know normally I like to catch bigger striper and do I like to bake with them or do like a thick cut and just season them well that's what's really nice about stripers you get a lot more meat to um, to play around with basically in your culinary experience. But since we have quite a few small ones here today, what I'm gonna do is make cakes, which I've never done before with striper. They should be good. It's one of our favorite family recipes for crappie. I've done it with white bass before, it's pretty good. And we've sort of, not perfected it, but we've um, dialed it in a little more as we have um, done it plenty of times. So we're gonna take you guys along for the experience today. Let's just start by cleaning these fish, guys. Striper. Pretty standard units. Slap the sides off of them. Oh, that's beautiful meat right there. Such a nice fish to clean as well. It's very easy, it's kind of like a bass. Now, Stephanie. She's actually just gone to the store to get some avocado oil 
uh, which we use in a spray form to coat the fish. We'll show you why here in a minute, but we're gonna be air frying these. So let's finish filleting them. Got these nice, beautiful little fillets here. And now I'm just going to cut them into strips like that and make little cubes about this size. This is the key. We're not gonna use a food processor. We're gonna use a good old fashioned knife. And those cubes go into our water bowl. Just like that. In the kitchen with OSG. Welcome back to my pretend cooking show. <laughs> well, this is a portion of uh, my show where you get to cut loose. There you go. Do okay. your thing. I actually do have a cooking show. It's just on your show. That's right. <laughs> Striper cakes. We've never had them. It's going down today. Quick and simple ingredients. OSG's got them laid out here. We've got the panko, essential element, the mayonnaise. Uh, she's going to do a little green onion this time. Also a little chopped red onion, um, a little bit of the uh, Guggen fish fry in the original, and um, just some garlic herb and salt and pepper. And if you're wondering how, about how many fish this is, this was five, I would say medium sized fish. And when we've done the crappie, we've also done five good sized ones, medium sized ones as well. That seems to work out in the, uh, in the ratios. It gives you uh, plenty for leftovers. Yeah, it does, and they are good for leftovers. That's why we really like this recipe. Uh, also, dry your fish off. Uh, you could pat them, but I usually let them sit in this container. You could do a strainer. I let them sit for uh, a couple hours refrigerated or in a cooler so you get all that, uh, that water off of there. Okay. All right, the next step is a little bit of mayonnaise. I just kind of eyeball it. For this amount of fish, maybe about, I don't know, fourth of a cup to a half a cup, maybe a little bit less than a half a cup. If that's not enough, this is a clean spoon so I can, you know, get some more without having to like put the spoon back in there. We're gonna eyeball the panko, probably about a cup. A little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and throw in some green onions. Mm -hmm. Chop red onions. Well, a good handful of diced little red onions. Mix her up. Thank Crack you. your favorite cold pot. I want a cold pot. You want a cold pot? <laughs> cold, cold pops. Pops. Cold pops for the kids. I think you said the wrong the word. Pop. They think you said popsicle. Oh, no. I mean... Daddy's cold pops. Next, we're gonna add just like a generic garlic and herb. This doesn't have any salt, so after this, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And I do think I need a little bit more mayo. Okay. And the fry. <gasps> we're gonna be a little extra peppery. A little extra spicy. <laughs> I want you guys to notice that this does not look like a giant crust ball. Nope. This is, this this literally looks like a ceviche I'm with some extra stuff in it. Uh, but that panko in there will, I don't wanna say rise, but it it'll will- It'll expand. It'll expand and it will fill a lot of those gaps and you'll get that bready, uh, crusty, um, nice crispness and you know the, the breadiness to it. That will happen. So just don't freak out and you're like, oh man, this is basically just gonna be a fish ball. Will it will happen. crisp up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of this just to kind of fill in those gaps like he was talking about. Mm-hmm. A little extra zest on it too. Yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, this is available. GuggenSquad.com. Uh, if you catch it during a sale, you get a real real sick deal. But uh, this stuff is very tasty. You just use my promo code LFG, save an extra 10 at checkout. All right, well, you reach behind you, my dear, and grab uh, my little Muffin scoopers. All right, and grab your ice cream scooper or just a really big spoon, I guess. And what you're gonna do is make little balls and you're gonna fill them to the brim. You're gonna kind of pack it in there as best you can. I 
it's just gonna look like that. Well, bam. <laughs> well, bam. They're like little mu mini muffins. So we're gonna do that with all of this. We'll probably get, I don't know how many you get, 20? And you can go ahead and start to kind of smash it in there so that it becomes a little bit tighter. It doesn't all fall apart. I feel like the trick is to get the magic amount of mayonnaise to fish ratio. Not starting out with too much, but you can always add later. You can't take away. Those are the facts of life. Facts of life. Those look amazing. Oh, those look good. Like good, like a, the, the onion with the green onion, little color pop with the black pepper in there with the crust and the fish is nice. Those stripers, especially those little stripers. Beautiful white meat. It smells good too. Beautiful, awesome meat. Yeah, no, no, no fishy, fishy smells smell. in there. There's definitely keys to this operation to get these things correct. And this is one of them right here. I guess you could bake them, but we use the air fryer and they turn out fantastic. There's another tip she's gonna give you here in just a second. But it's gonna be 350, let's see the fish setting, I believe it's 350. Yeah, 350 for eight minutes. We'll bump that up. I don't even know how to work this thing. <laughs> We only use it for dumb crappie This is the only thing we use it for. And I think it was actually recalled for fire hazard or something. But we only use it for this. We'll get this figured out. 350 for 10 minutes. There you go. 15 striper cakes out of, that was five fish. So it was two small, two like small, small stripers, a white bass, uh, a medium size, and then a, a good one. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, now it just deleted it. It okay. deleted it, okay. All right. Now here's the big step. You pack them in. Well, bam, that stuff, yes, right? You, you spray that. that on. I actually had to go to the grocery store today because he was like, we're doing cakes tonight. Well, I don't have that. I didn't have that. This uh, this is one of the OSG. Um, she usually keeps this on hand right here. This 100% pure avocado spray. Uh, this stuff is, is good on high temps. And uh, you don't have any of those, you know, seed oils that can sometimes get your system out of whack. Okay, so spray. we're just gonna spray lightly. Well, bam. By the way, if you guys don't know, she has a autoimmune, what do you call it, a disorder? Yeah, a disease. A, 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 disease. a disease? It's called Hashimoto's. So um, we're constantly trying to figure out her diet that makes her uh, operate I'm just... full speed. Yeah. Can't have gluten, can't have eggs, although I'm having the manna, the mayonnaise. Soy. So soy. you'll probably blow up after this. We'll see. <laughs> you got something going on over here, honey. There's something no, beeping at you. <laughs> it's my rice. Okay. All right, okay, show the folks minutes, at home. 10 minutes, 350. Uh, we're going to press play. <laughs> play. Press play. And there you go. And there it goes. All right, the rice. Look at the silver bullet out there in all her glory. <sighs> Glad to have her back. Also, you guys want to see something incredible right now. Today's trip, my first day running the new Pro Guide lithium on the trolling motor. We're back up to 100%. It's it's fully charged right now. It's Bluetoothing from the kitchen to the boat. I haven't wired up everything fully. I just kind of wanted to test things out today. I'm very pleased. I'm going to do a video showing my setup because it is awesome and it's very simple which I love. So video on that coming soon. Time for the reveal. Hopefully these are, are ready to go. You ready? I'm ready. All right, you open it, okay. you open it. Oh. Oh. oh, I think a little much, maybe not. No, it just looks like it, but I think, you want, you want I to think, temp it? I think we're good. No, I trust it. You that trust color it? looks golden. Isn't that crazy how it doesn't look like it's gonna be much and then it comes out and it's like a fluffy little cloud. Oh, yeah. It's like little marshmallows. It's like burnt. Mm. 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 We love them. <laughs> okay. We love uh, them. Yeah, don't, don't burn your fingers. They smell so good. They look outstanding. You don't even smell fishy. Watch. I feel like we just keep dialing this thing in. This is gonna be like our next favorite instead of coffee. Straight with cakes. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no. Party foul. Okay, I see a broken one. 
that means is up for grabs. I can I can get after it. I'm gonna bring you guys in close for this one, okay? Get you in the light. Yeah, well, ma'am. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. Is that better? Is that better than crappie? That's delicious. I'm taking it in right now. I'm taking it in. This is... It's like there's no mush. I'm getting nervous because this is this one is incredible. There's no mush. It's no. Uh, gosh, it's just like ceviche in your mouth, but it's like... Yeah, it's more like a saltwater fish. Like Yeah. It tastes like a crab meat. Wow. That's <laughs> so good. And yeah, when you throw those fresh little ingredients in there, mm. the onion. Mm. And it's got like good spice profile too. Oh. It's not like bland or anything. Oh man. So, <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to go striper fishing more. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so good. How hard is it to striper fish? Is it easier? It was very hard on this video. <laughs> very but hard. But is it typically easier or like harder than It was talking? easy to catch small ones. Okay. Which are tasty. Mm -hmm. So on this particular lake that we went to, you could keep striper that are smaller. Okay. So normally you can only keep them if they're like minimum 18 inches. This lake, you can only keep two that are over 20, but you can keep small ones and you keep like 10 fish total. Maybe you only want to keep small ones. The small ones, Those I gotta delicious. tell you, they're incredible. They're tasty, and you know what? I paid for them with my Texas Parks and Wildlife there fishing license. I, it, that's the way I look at it. I paid for them, they're mine. <laughs> I might as well go up there and keep them. I, I actually like the extra black pepper that uh, Blue threw in there. That you probably added nice. like an extra, at least teaspoon in oh, there. Oh yeah. Okay. Because I taste it. We'll let the rest of them cool. We'll have another bite. Getting the size right and the in the texture is, is very important. So you guys saw me slice them up. That's the size that you, you want. Second batch. Ready? Let's look at this color profile, eh? Mm. Wah bam. Perfect. Those are perfect. Bring them on over here. All right. Just put them down. We need to write this down. Okay. <laughs> well, we've Ten, got it on video now. <laughs> we do. Ten minutes, 350. That's it. Gosh, that is it, folks. We nailed it. I don't know if we did it last time when we added the extra Guggen, whatever it is. Tummy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, golden crispy. Oh, okay, bro. thank you. <laughs> I mean, how many times do I have to say it in this household? <laughs> the extra uh, golden batter. Crispy batter. Golden crispy batter. Honestly, maybe that made it because last time I didn't add it in. <laughs> Well, it does add a little Gosh. bit of extra zest mm. on it. I think the next recipe that I want to perfect is like a striper or a crappie gumbo. Ooh! Oh, striper would actually be good. <laughs> striper would striper actually would be good because it's okay. like a thicker, uh, heartier fish. Okay. Yeah, it would be good. Mm. Maybe even blue cat. I love that away. idea. Where did you just come I up just, with that? I, I, one of my girlfriends, every time I say we have crappie, she goes, oh, we make a crappie gumbo. And I'm like, okay, she's been telling me this for years. Damn, and no, that, girl, that girl gets down. <laughs> she gets down with it. We're gonna work on that. I'll hold you to it. All right, y'all, dirty rice, putting a couple fish cakes on top. I think these are so much better than crappie cakes. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna put my vote in now. <laughs> these are like crab meat. There's something about that texture. Mm. The striper's definitely different. It, it makes me want some more. When the kids like it, you know. That's when that's like the true test. All right, guys, these are so good. I had to call in the man himself who helped capture these. Dad, come on in here. Why don't you come around over here in the light? Have you had the uh, the fish cake recipe before? I've had the crappie, but okay. I, I have not. We had... have. I'm gonna. Okay, you try. And I'll let you know our thoughts after. Okay, let me. We want to know your thoughts. Let me. Oh, look how chunky it is. Looks like a crab cake. Yes, sir. I thought so too. Stephanie said that literally. 
Oh my gosh. This is like a Boston crab cake. Oh, that is delicious. There's something about that striper. I think it's a thicker, heartier fish. And there was a white bass mix in there, which by the way, the white bass had like really red meat. The, the little stripers were clean white meat. They looked amazing. That tastes like a crab cake. <laughs> yeah, isn't it awesome? It does, man. It's light and, and uh, very flavorful. Heck of a lot cheaper than a crab cake, too. Oh, yeah. I had to have you try it because you, caught, you caught them, man. They're good. They're real good. I think the only one that beats this, which you and I have had together, is the, uh, is the walleye. Mm. A fresh Canadian walleye in a cake like that, which Ted taught us this. Who we go to walleye with. That's right. So shout out to Ted. And we're going out to uh, Canada. Here that is right. A couple of weeks. It's coming soon. Yeah. Fishing freaks, it's coming soon. So we're going to have some walleye cakes coming at you. Verdict on these fish cakes, the striper fish cakes. They are the best fish cakes that I have ever had in the United States. The texture, the the flavor of everything on these was amazing. And Stephanie did an amazing job. But I think the fish itself had a lot to do with it. So I just, I, and they were like the, the least gamey stripers that I've ever had. And anytime I can share a boat with LFD, it is a good time. So you guys smash the like button for that. And hopefully you learned something with this recipe. Try it. Try it on any fish, honestly. It's, it's incredible. But a lot of these freshwater fish that we catch, if you're trying to figure out something to do with them, maybe you don't have a ton to do a, a full fish fry, try this. It, I mean, five fish went a long way. Uh, that could feed four adults, two kids, and also stay tuned for a repowering video. And it was really helpful to know that I only used about 27% of my battery today. And I went, went pretty hard, fished pretty hard out there, heavy winds. I'll show you guys the setup uh, coming up soon on another video, and I'll see you back in the great outdoors. You guys go enjoy it yourselves, tight lines, good sniffs, and I'll see you soon.